Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. How are you doing tonight, Ted? I'm doing so good. It's crazy. I have an alert. I have an alarm. The alarms are going off. Take cover. Take cover. It's Uncle Ted with his truth, logic, and common sense crowbar. And I love my truth, logic, and common sense crowbar, Keith, and I'm willing to share it with humanity. Well, Ted, you know, this is an Olympic year. And as I was reading in the news uh, this morning, uh, something just struck me as just so wrong. It's just wrong. One of your phrases is bend over, Rover. And I noticed that the Chinese government is making our Olympic athletes bend over, Rover, uh, because they're only doing anal swab COVID testing. I can't imagine that if President Trump was our president, that he would allow our athletes to go over and bend over Rover for the Chinese to be anal tested. But I'm curious if your thought on that and if every arena and every club or every theater that you played now, if you had to get the anal COVID test before you played, I can't imagine they'd be listening to Wang Dang, Sweet Poon Tang that evening. You know, Keith, you really have a way with words. It's almost like a ballerina doing a pirouette on the skulls of idiots <laughs> everywhere. So God bless you for your wordsmithing, because the imagery is painful. The imagery is so wrong. It's so ugly. But this is another example of incrementalism how people have been taken over throughout history by being lied to and being controlled. And that's what is now happening at the hand of the tyrannical, treasonous United States government that allows American citizens to be figuratively, much less literally yeah. bent over and acting like soulless, gullible, mindless sheep. I got to tell you, I, I got a little story this, to share with everybody. I uh, raced in some celebrity races and some Long Beach Grand Prix with the great gold medalist men of men, Bruce Jenner. And he was a great man. And he remains this day a great something. But he was a, a decent, smart, dedicated man in the arena in the swirling dust of battle. And he always put his heart and soul into being the best that he could be. Unfortunately, he ran into the Motor City Madman who was trained in off-road racing in Detroit, Russia, or in a rental car. You can't beat me. <laughs> Nobody else has those credentials. So I understand yeah. the spirit of athleticism and that man in the arena competition, that, that being the best that you can be drive. It's instinctual in all human beings created in the image and likeness of God. But as goes Bruce Jenner into Caitlyn Jenner, goes a, a segment of our society that have become so blind they couldn't tell you what the trail of tears was. They couldn't tell you what the Bataan death march was. They couldn't tell you what Auschwitz was. They couldn't tell you what the rape of Nanking was, where mankind viciously raped and murdered and tortured fellow men. This is another incremental step where the evil, demonic, satanic, communist Chinese, America, wake up as they're bending people over for the Olympics. First of all, I'm not ever going to have anything to do with a communist person. Communism is evil. So on the nightly news, what we celebrate is the instinct, the drive, the intellect, the spirit of autonomy rugged individualism, standing in front of what you believe in, and your instinct will tell you that's God, family, country, outlined right. in the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. It's not ambiguous. Well, Nugent's got this. I had a guy the other day say, hey, Ted, I love your political views. And I stopped and I ran over to the guy and I went, I don't have any political views. The United States Constitution is not a view. Find your instinct, find your spirit of good over evil. The Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Ten Commandments, the Golden Rule, these are self-evident truths. If you have the most important capability and tactic that you exercise, critical thinking. If ever there was a time to critically think about anything, it's about any American complying or working with any communist. So America, please join me at HunterNation.org. It's so simple. If we don't stand up for these traditional values, which people are dying to get to as we support immigration and we try to stop illegal invasion, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Please join me at HunterNation.org and come to my spirit campfire at TedNugent.com or the Facebook or the different social media, because what you have in your heart and soul is not weird. People against what we have in our heart and soul 
That's weird. So stand up for what you believe in and don't ever bend over, Rover. Let Teddy take over. It's as good as it gets, Ted. Uh, Powerful stuff again this evening. And if you come back again tomorrow, we'll have some more of the Nightly Nooch. Thank you.